ZMF YouTube office here. Um, yeah, so today we're talking about the uh, Blackwood as it's used in ZMF headphones and the Verite closed Blackwood. In 2015 or so, I came out with this T50 mod um, back when I was making all the headphones just because I was like, whoa, this African Blackwood sounds so smooth on the T50 and I was kind of enamored by it and did a whole modification on the T50 RP around it. And uh, yeah, I mean, I just kept using it after that because it sounds so smooth and nice. And uh, yeah, this, this headphone um, was, I was like, man, I got to keep this. This is cool. This is Blackwood. And actually, yeah, that was after we made that Blackwood model. Yeah. A nice looking looks like Steve Gutenberg on the CNET is talking about the old Blackwood. Always good to ooh, sweet, sweet sounding. Um, but yeah, the, the Blackwood kind of it makes headphones sound smooth, punchy, and dynamic. And I guess that's why I just keep going back to it with each model. Working with African Blackwood, always a hot topic in the shop because what happens is I'll be like, hey guys, we're doing the African Blackwoods. And it just kind of kills sandpaper and tools and stuff. It gets so hard, it kind of, you know, kills machine bits and everything. So we kind of have to, you know, budget in a bunch of extra stuff, switch the sandpaper more often, switch the uh, CNC bits a little more often, because um, it's so hard. Because that, you know, if you tried to make that boat out of African Blackwood cups, you know, that boat would sink. So if you're going to buy a bunch of Verite clothes to make a boat, uh, don't do it. You can see from uh, here that, you know, this Blackwood is really dark. And you can see the side grain. You can see it's a little lighter on the side here on this part. But, you know, the funny thing is that you can see the pictures on our website of this same headphone. Like I can see in person, this has really nice grain on the side, but in any kind of light, it's just so hard to photograph. So it's one of those things where we're kind of finishing these with a semi-gloss finish. And, you know, because of that, uh, it's gonna reflect light because of the, the darkness of the wood. And if you get it in sunlight, that grain's really gonna pop. In a dark room, you're not really gonna see it as much. So, I guess that's definitely something to consider about the Blackwood aesthetically and everything. My favorite pads on the African Blackwood are probably the BE2 pads, which actually goes contrary to most uh, Verite clothes that I listen to. I usually, I like lambskin per personally. I know a lot of people like suede. It has that smoother transient on it, but the uh, Otor pads have, you know, more space and kind of that kind of more, you know, very slightly humpy sound that's very fun. Whereas the BE2 pads have a smoother downsloped response. And on the Blackwood, because it's so punchy, you still get that like feel and that girth of the low bass. And it makes, you know, that more linear response smoother. And so I, on the Blackwood model, I'd probably go for the BE2 pads first. Um, as far as comfort, we've got the, uh, the crescent band on these bad boys and it's just got, you know, more surface area that's going to sit against your head as you wear the headphones and all that extra surface area really kind of just allows the headphone to kind of sink in and cradle with the suspension strap. So yeah, it, it feels pretty good. And, uh, you know, the first comment people usually make about the, uh, Blackwood headphones is they're a lot lighter than they thought they would be. I mean, they do weigh, you know, 630 to 700 ish pounds, depending on the metal of the rods you choose and everything. But, uh, you know, the thing that I think gets most people is that if the clamp is too high, so just remember you can bend your headband outwards to reduce the clamp like this, just taking the sides and bending it. Um, yeah, and it, you know, the raw Blackwood cups, you can, Definitely kind of see here, you know, this is raw black wood. It is kind of cool to look at the raw wood because, you know, you can see there's two different cups here. And the thing about the blackwood tree is it's only like two to three feet max trunk size. I mean, these trees take like forever to grow. And that's why they're so hard because they're growing so slowly. And 
you know, there will be variance in grain between uh, quarter sawn, riff sawn, and flat sawn. Most of them will be riff sawn. It is really hard to get quarter sawn wood out of these trees uh, just because they are, you know, not the widest trunks. So yeah, that's uh, it for this video uh, with ZMF. And if you like the video, definitely subscribe. I'm gonna be doing a lot more of these so you can learn more about what's going on at ZMF. If you don't like the video, definitely don't subscribe.